not a big one. She's a fighter. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, I'm an idiot. Patch covers. What are those? Essentially, they are a product for ice fishing. This is the original catch cover. It's basically made out of a heavy duty plastic that won't crack in extreme temperatures. And it is durable enough to run a four wheeler on top of them and walk on top. So I opted to install these, or I'm going to be installing these or attempting to install these in this trailer build because I would like to bring this thing ice fishing. So I ordered two catch covers. They are a 12 inch hole diameter and 12 and three quarter uh, rough cut in the floor opening. I've kind of laid them out roughly where I want them and taped the floor because I will be cutting this floor and I want to avoid kind of scratching or damaging as much as possible. Um, I just installed this floor, it's brand new. Of course, the first thing I'm gonna to do to the floor is, is cut a big hole in it. So the spacing here is actually very strategic for three reasons. The first reason is that I plan to have a sort of fold down bench on both sides, but basically when I'm ice fishing, uh, the left side here will be up and the right side would be down and sort of converted into the couch mode. And so you can sit here comfortably and enjoy uh, you know, two holes to, to fish out of. The other reason is that I need to clear the beams underneath the floor. Basically they align under the floor with the steel studs. So kind of see there, I lined it up in between that bay of studs and then this bay of studs. I can't put them in this area because the axle goes underneath in that spot. So these are kind of like the only real two spots I can install these. And I don't want to have it too close to the wall uh, just because of spacing issues and be a little awkward to get into. What I've been doing is basically taking a tape measure from the uh, edge of the wall to the center of the screws and sort of aligning those up nicely. And then I can kind of get those actually very close uh, to the same spacing. And then I will be tracing the outside lip of the flange and then basically uh, using that line to cut with my jigsaw. I have no clue if I'm gonna be able to get through everything with my jigsaw. It's kind of a, a desperate attempt. Um, I don't really have anything else to use. I could go get my sawzall, but I would like to avoid that at all costs. Yeah, let's get to it. So another reason why I put the uh, holes where they are is I actually tried to center them as much as possible on one of the planks. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but you can see here's a sort of the width of the plank. And then I wanted to make sure that I wasn't taking too much from the side edges because if I was too close to, let's say, an edge, I'm worried that the edge of the tile would snap off because there'd be very little product left, I guess. The other thing is I needed to clear the floor rail here. You can see it here. And if you watched the uh, video install of me putting the floor in or any of the earlier videos before the floor was installed, you can see it, there's a metal rail here that's about four inches from the wall all the way down the length of the trailer. So basically I needed to clear that along with the beams, the structural beams. I wanna make sure I don't mess up the floor. And yeah, so here we go. So I got the hole cut. Uh, that was actually relatively painless. So now I'm just gonna clean it up and install the flange. I will pre-drill all the holes through the floor at least so that the screws don't uh, crack the flooring. I'm gonna add probably a bead of caulking around uh, just to 
keep that nice and sealed and so no water gets in between the floor and the subfloor. Don't get any ideas. I'm not putting in a, a porta potty, even though that's what it looks like. Okay, I decided I'm gonna install some tuck tape, basically just to seal the uh, exposed assembly, the exposed edges here, just to avoid water getting in between basically the floor and uh, the wood here. Uh, because it is like kind of against the grain. I imagine if water got in there, it would absorb and whether you like it or not, this will get wet. So, you know, just kind of a precaution. Awesome! We got an ice fishing hole! Super clean! I like this. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the catch cover installed. The first one. Oh, this is very easy to do. I recommend anyone who's doing a uh, ice fishing hut build. Um, this is an awesome product. You know, Phenomenal. Nice and tight and sealed. Finishes really nice with the floor. And then simply when you're not using it, you just put the cover, the hatch back on. And this thing is like sturdy. I can walk on it. I'm not sure yet, but I might try to do something with the bottom edge of this. Maybe I can use the cutout I did and actually kind of insert insulation into these holes or something. Um, not sure yet. It's not uh, a big problem on my mind right now, um, but I would like to sort of basically insulate this catch cover uh, so that it still um, has a purpose uh, other than just basically a big hole in the floor. Um, I actually got really lucky here. So I hit the beam with this screw. It wasn't going in. I don't have any self tappers that have this matching like uh, Robertson head. So what I did is basically just drilled a hole using a small bit and uh, that gave me a hole basically for the threads to start sort of chewing into the beam. And so this piece, this one screw here is actually in the steel beam below. All right, catch covers are in. Look at this, this is awesome. How many cargo trailers can you say have laminate waterproof flooring and ice fishing holes? This is excellent. They're super sturdy. They aren't going anywhere. I can basically load a four wheeler in here, drive right on top of them. I can stand on them. They're super durable and should perform exactly to what I expect them to do. Look at this. Project coming along very nicely. I am super stoked. This is freaking awesome. Turned out great. It was a super easy uh, process. You know, not really complicated. I was a little bit worried about the uh, laminate flooring, but only time will tell how they withstand. Basically just cut the hole to the right size. And when you're placing them in, you know, sort of go in a star shaped pattern. Uh, don't tighten them too much. Cause I don't know, like uh, I know they're durable and whatnot. Normally for plastic stuff, you don't want to like over torque it. So yeah, that's uh, how to install catch covers. Yeah.